I'm Matt Allen. I'm a family practice provider. I've been working here at Wellia Health for almost 12 years now. I've been practicing uh, full spectrum family medicine here now. Since I've been here, I work in the hospital, the ER, the clinic. I do OB. I see kids. Um, I, I see everybody. So one of the questions I get uh, frequently from patients is, is it possible to get COVID-19 from the vaccine itself? And with all the vaccines that are available in the United States and worldwide for that matter, none of them are made from live vaccines. So it's, it's actually impossible to get uh, COVID-19 from any of the vaccines. What people do experience is they, sometimes they get, um, they feel kind of crummy to say the least um, after getting either the first shot or the second shot. Um, and that's just your body building its immune response to COVID-19. Um, that just kind of shows how your body builds this immune response. And um, sometimes it's a little uncomfortable. People have complained about fevers, uh, muscle aches, chills, nausea, headaches, um, and it varies widely uh, between people. So in summary, it's impossible to get COVID from the vaccine. Um, what you do get is you do sometimes get an immune response um, where you do experience some symptoms from the vaccine and that just shows that the vaccine's working. If I'm healthy um, and young, um, do I really need the vaccine? Um, because I've heard that people who are healthy and, um, and younger, when they, if they do get COVID, their symptoms aren't as bad. Um, we've definitely seen younger people die from COVID. We've definitely seen younger people get hospitalized, but it doesn't happen nearly as often as somebody who's a little bit older or unhealthy. So the important reason for young people to get vaccinated is not only to prevent, you know, complications from COVID itself, is to, it's really to prevent continuing to spread COVID to other people. Because if you don't get vaccinated, it's possible to spread it to other people. It's, it's possible to spread it to your neighbor, grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, 10 people at the grocery store who you don't even know. And then the cycle keeps going. So it's, that's why it's really important for the young and healthy to get vaccinated um, because it's really gonna help stop the spread. And that's what needs to happen right now is we need to stop the spread of COVID-19. And um, in order, the only way to do that is if we all get vaccinated. The other question I oftentimes get asked is, if I've already had COVID, do I really need the vaccine? And the answer is yes. Um, yes, you do get some immunity from having COVID, um, but that immunity varies widely um, depending on what type of sim symptoms you had. If you just had mild symptoms, most people's immunity isn't that robust. It's, it wasn't, it's not that good. If you were hospitalized um, with COVID because your symptoms were really um, quite severe, a lot of times that immunity is a lot better. Um, but the immunity um, it doesn't last as long as we wished it would. We hoped that if you once you got COVID, your symptoms would, you know, or your immunity would last forever, but it doesn't look like that's the case. The immunity generally lasts somewhere between five to 10 or 11 months. The immunity you get from the vaccines, whether it's uh, the Moderna, the Pfizer, or the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is a lot more robust, um, especially, and that's especially important now because we're seeing these variants come out. Um, the Delta variant is circulating uh, um, worldwide, and right now it's the most prominent um, version of COVID um, in the United States. And you know, if you had COVID, the virus, a year ago, chances are you have little to no immunity against the Delta variant. Whereas if you're getting, if you have immunity from one of the vaccines, all three of the vaccines have shown good um, effectiveness uh, against the Delta variant. Um, which is important um, moving forward because more and more variants are likely to come out um, over the next few months to maybe even a year. And right now, at least, all of the vaccines have proven to be very effective against the variants that are circulating currently.